This is an example of uh, endoscope. All endoscopes in medicine, whether we're using them to look in the lungs, the bladder, the stomach, the large intestine, are basically built on this same platform. Um, the physician has dials up on the handle that they can turn that you can see make the scope very flexible and are able to get around corners. Um, we also have uh, buttons here where I can squirt water or air outside of, um, out of the scope to either clean things up or wash. We can suction out fluid. Um, this also has a channel that I can put instruments down here which come out a hole there. Typically on the procedure day, the patient will be brought into the procedure room and then will be given medication through the IV to make them comfortable and sleepy. This is called conscious sedation. Once a patient is comfortable, then the physician will begin the procedure and during the colonoscopy, they would use an endoscope similar to this and take a look throughout the entire colon. During that time, we will remove any polyps if those are seen. After the procedure, a patient is taken to the recovery area where they will recover and after that then they will be able to go home on the same day. Typically the procedure itself will last from anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes in length and then we allow approximately 15 to 30 minutes after the procedure for recovery before the patient goes home.